Hi, it's Andy again, and uh, today's video is going to be on how to import libraries into uh, Android Studio. And uh, today I'm going to do two different methods on how to do it. The first method is probably going to be the easiest way if um, the developer of a library uh, gives you uh, an easy way to import it into Gradle. Um, so in here, uh, what I'm going to do is actually uh, Action Bar Sherlock. Uh, this is going to be the end result is we're going to have a device running gingerbread as you can see gingerbread um, but with uh, the action bar provided from action bar Sherlock uh, you might want to do this if you already have a project in Eclipse that uses action bar Sherlock and not the app compat um, otherwise you know I would recommend price using app compat for uh, future um, apps that you uh, you make. So the way we're going to do this is actually opening up your build.gradle file and uh, if you have um, uh, Action Bar Sherlock you can just uh, go to the, the here's the home screen you can go to uh, usage scroll down here and right here in the dependencies you're going to copy this and paste it so we're going to paste that here into the dependencies uh, and then we're going to build it and then once we build it we'll actually be able to use um, a Sherlock activity and then don't forget in your Android manifest you have to use the theme that Sherlock that light or dark action bar whatever Sherlock theme that you're going to be using um, this is the dark action bar that gets produced there and then here we're going to change this to a Sherlock activity as you can see there import that and then boom this will actually compile and run um, from there now the other way to do it is uh, if you have a dot jar file we can import it uh, there so let's see if uh, I think I have JDOM saved somewhere here in my downloads JDOM dot jar Uh, at the sources, I need to. I should here. Here's the zip. I'll just unzip it again. Extract here. Okay. Here we go. So I'll just copy this, paste it into the libs. Okay, and then we want to right-click it and look for uh, add as library now this is going to add some code here into your dependency here and then uh, we can add something let's say uh, it's it's currently building so that's why it went gray like that let's say I wanted to add an element but I wanted it to be the JDOM element, here it is, JDOM2 element. Um, so that's how you, those are two main ways to enter, uh, to add libraries into Android Studio. Um, most of the website, uh, most of the projects that are built with Gradle will have a way to, for you to import it um, like, like via the dependency. Um, it just basically downloads the source in the background. Um, and puts that into your project. That'll probably be the easiest way to do it, as you can see. Um, uh, if not, you can always add a, the jar file if you have one um, for other projects like JDOM and um, other libraries for that are general tools, not actual Android-specific uh, build libraries. All right, so hope you find this uh, video useful, and uh, happy coding.